So when we look at this problem, we can see a few things. First, I like to label everything that I know. So we have 130 degrees is the given here, which I can see right here. So if I know that that's 130 degrees, then I know that angle 1, because it's vertical, I know that the vertical angle is 130 degrees. So if these two are 130 degrees, I know that angle 4 corresponds to angle 1, or the one across from angle 1. So angle 4 is also 130 degrees. So then I can label the problems that I know. So it told me to find the measurement of angle 1, for example. That's 130 degrees. Measurement of angle 4, I also know, is 130 degrees. Now I'm going to look at angle 6. Angle 6 is assuming it's 90 degrees because these are perpendicular. Now, of course, you aren't ever supposed to assume that, but your curriculum has you do that, so we will, for argument's sake, assume that angle 6 is 90 degrees, which means that angles 3 and 4 together are going to make up 90 degrees. So again, we have another problem that we can solve. I know that because angles 4 and 5 are on a straight line, together they're going to add up to 180 degrees. So I can subtract 180 and 130 to get 50 degrees. So now I know the measurement of angle 5 is 50 degrees. So I'll write my answer here. Again, whoops, I keep checking that. Again, angle 5 corresponds to angle 2. So if angle 5 is 50 degrees, angle 2 is also 50 degrees. So now I only have one more angle to figure out, and that is angle 3, right here. So this adds up to 90 degrees, so I already know angle 2 is 50 degrees, so I just subtract it from 90 to get 40. So when you have problems like this, a good thing to do is to look at all of your questions ahead of time, label everything you know, and just go step by step because sometimes the order of the questions don't match the order of your logic. So I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.